What's going on, everyone? I am your host, Tramel Thompson. And I'm the NYC OG. What's going on, NYC OG? We're going to welcome the people to the Reckoning Sports Show, where we tell it like it is. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. We are taking it to a new level that has never been seen before because we cannot be brought out by the corporate shells. And as a result of reckoning, the truth will set us all free, my brother. That's right. And we're going to get into our first topic of today. Who got got the power? Nash versus Durant. Tell me who's going to go if there's a choice. Okay. well, let me see. I know that you rep the union. I, on my end, I read management, and it is the fault of management that has allowed Kevin Durant to run rampant and crazy. This man is power tripping on a level that I have never seen before. They are already smearing Steve Nash, who should never, ever have been given that coaching job in the first place. Now Durant and his people are saying they never wanted Steve Nash in the first place, and to think that the Brooklyn Nets gave this man three years at $118 million, then gave him another four years of $194 million only for him to stab them in the back and tell Nets governor, Joe Tsai, it's either me or the general manager and Steve Nash have to go. I'm on the side of management. I need the Brooklyn Nets to call the Boston Celtics as of this video. Take Jalen Brown, take whatever the package they have, and ship Durant, who, as far as I'm concerned, is the grimiest player in NBA history. He's truly a snake, and he deserves that moniker. I I, I, got to stop you right there. You're doing a little too much. You know what I'm saying? I can't help it. we We talking about a top superstar, not top player. Is he really? We talking about top superstar, two NBA championships, rookie of the year, average about 27 points throughout his whole career, uh, uh, four assists, seven rebounds, sharpshooter. Steve Nash? Why is this even a conversation? I it's mean, a conversation. I, I mean, we, it's a talk- conversation. Oh, go, go, go for it. Go for it. Jalen, Jalen Brown for Kevin Durant? Are you serious? A package. A, 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 they're, package, they're, of, a package of who? Uh, Jalen Brown? Uh, um, uh, the start, the whole starting five? Like, who can you, who you, who you going to exchange for Kevin Durant? That's going to make sense. In his career, Kevin Durant has proven to me, and I'm sure all the sports fans nationwide will agree, he's old. He's injury prone. As far as I'm concerned, you're talking about Durant's skill set. You know what I saw when the Nets were being swept by the Boston Celtics? I saw Durant giving the ball more to Blake Griffin. So to the people who say that Durant has the skills of a guard, yeah, he's got the skills of a guard to pass the rock because he never stood up to the challenge. And then that's where the only team in the 2022 playoffs to get swept. Trust me, you're not missing anything. It's time to move the there, ranch. There, there was a lot of politics going on with the Nets during that time. I mean, it was not, you know, Kyrie didn't play because they wouldn't allow him to play. Let's get that straight from the top. The Vaccine. organization would not allow Kyrie to play. Um, there was a lot of frustration was there. Uh, Durant even said, you know, Eric Adams better do the right thing. So it shows that there was some type of frustration. But I don't understand the logic. Like, why are we picking Kevin Durant to Steve Nash? I mean, Kevin Durant won two championships. How many championships did Steve Nash win as a player or a coach? Well, let's talk about it, right? Steve Nash is, has profited and prospered from media manipulation. He was a two-time MVP when he only deserved one. And we know that Steve Nash has never been a proven winner. He didn't win with the Phoenix Suns. He didn't win with the Dallas Mavericks. And he sure as hell hasn't made the transition to be a winner as a head coach. Because as you can see by the plays that the Nets run, Steve Nash has no idea what he's doing. But again, if he was handpicked by Durant and Kyrie Irving, Durant has to lay in the bed that he made. Do you know that for a fact? Do you know that for a fact? 
Like, how do you know that Durant and Nash, I mean, Durant and Kyrie handpicked Nash? Where you get that from? That's what they said when they collaborated to come for to join forces and pick Brooklyn as their destination as the team they wanted to play with. All right, so now it's obvious that Kevin Durant don't want him there anymore. So if Kevin Durant have the power to bring him in, why can't Kevin Durant have the power to ship him out? I know this might ruffle your feathers, but I have to say this. Players, union NBA players, they need to stay in their place. There's a reason why there's a hierarchy of owner, general manager, head coach, and players. I am sick no, no, of no, these no, no, NBA no, no, union no, no, players. No, 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 no. Oh, I, yes. I, I know oh, yes. Because I'm going to tell you this. Without the players, there's no sport. Without superstars, there's no action. Right? So the and guess players, what? With, the players have oh, all the power. Terrible. The players have but all, guess what? all Without the power. The, and guess what? Without a billionaire owner, where are you playing? Where are your games being televised? Because the billionaire owners hold the majority, they hold the majority of the money, they hold the real estate. And believe you me, I've been, being an OG, I've seen enough NBA players that when they go on strike, they say they'll form their own league. They can't form anything. OG, because at the end of the day... You're, you're absolutely wrong on this. I mean, we can't look at... Because now we go take the conversation somewhere else. We can't look at... Okay. We can't, no, it's good. We're going to take it there. We're going to look okay. at, you know, the billionaires and you saying that, you know, where, where would they play without these billionaires? Now, let's put something into perspective. Most of the league is African-American. It's black, right? Correct. Uh, uh, most or if not all of the majority owners, I think besides Michael Jordan, um, is white. So now, do you want to get into... Uh, how these white billionaires attained their money and the struggle that black people had to, 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 to attain their money and why there are more white owners than black, than black owners. Like, this, this could go into a whole nother topic, but at the end of the day, I don't care about the billionaires and, 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 and whatever. I guarantee you today, if the public had to make a choice between billionaire owners and watching the sport they love with they super with the superstars on it, they're gonna pick the their sport the sport that they love with the superstars that they want to see play. Not these billionaire owners. These billionaire owners are really modern day, and I hate to say it, slave masters. They modern day slave masters. They don't. We, in our eyes, it looks like these superstars is getting paid an astronomical amount of money but they're not getting nothing compared to what the owners are getting. And the owners are doing nothing but just having money. Like, I don't know any of these billionaire owners that got it working a nine to five or whatever the case is. They got their money being either through their family or, you know, because of white supremacy, I'm going to say. But, you know, Joe Size is, is Asian, right? He's Asian. And it's, it's a little different for him. But still, the, the, the fact remains the same. Black people... Um, as far as being owners, they don't even want us to be owners. The people who got money to buy a team, they won't even allow us to buy a team. So I don't, like for us to get into that conversation, I love having those conversations, but I don't think that's the proper conversation to put against the player and why we not owners and things of that nature. They purposely keeping us out. We see it in the NFL, we see it in the NBA. You're, you know what, you're right. We're going into some dark waters here because let's face it, the owners, the billionaire owners, their money isn't good money. This is fact. And you know what? I got a sidebar real quick. In over 80 years, the owners, Dolan, Cablevision, Madison Square Garden, in over 80 years, they've never paid real estate tax because he who has the money makes the rules. But guess what? Who else has the ability to cut Kevin Durant a four-year, $194 million contract with $190 million guaranteed? Not his fellow NBA brothers, brother, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know what you mean, to be honest. And um, Kevin Durant is getting wow. exactly uh, what, what, what he, he should be paid more. In fact, everybody should be paid more compared to what the billionaire owners. Um, not possible. Is, is getting. No. I mean, it may not happen, but I think that they should get paid more. Um, they are the ones who drive the revenues. The owners do not sell out the arenas. The players do. 
the 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 owners do not um, make people buy sneakers. The the uh, the the players do. The owners just provide the money, the facility, and and that's that, right? The players can't do it on their own if they were more organized and things of that nature. That's for that could go for any aspect. You could start your own uh, UPS if a whole bunch of people were to come together and say, forget about UPS. We go start NYC OGPS. You know what I'm saying? It's all about organizing. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I have to choose Durant over Nash. We trying to win. We trying to bring a championship to the city. Nash just can't get on the court. He couldn't bring a championship to himself. How can we expect anything other than keeping Kevin Durant right here and shipping Nash off and bringing a, a real coach like uh, Mark Jackson? How about we bring Mark Jackson to Brooklyn to coach the Brooklyn Nets? That's a good idea, but sadly, Mark Jackson has been blacklisted or blackballed, blacklisted, I believe, by the NBA for when he was the coach of the uh, Houston Rockets. No, no, sorry, that's Jeff Van Gundy, excuse me. But, oh, yeah, no, Mark Jackson blackballed, sorry, by the Golden State Warriors, who obviously went with Steve Kerr, even though Mark Jackson had built the Warriors to the dynasty that they would ultimately become. But Mark Jackson never got to reap the fruits that he had sown in the field in terms of the Warriors organization. And, however, you're right with me digressing about unions and management. If you check the history of Kevin Durant, he destroys franchises. He destroyed o OKC, Oklahoma City Thunder. He tried to destroy the Warriors, and now he is intent on destroying the Brooklyn Nets. They gave him the team that he wanted, the players that he wanted, and now he wants out after re-signing, mind you, that four-year, $194 million deal. So I would move him. He's a headache, and he's injury-prone. If he goes to the Celtics, Trust and believe the Celtics won't be getting to the finals, and that's facts. And the Brooklyn Nets, with all this disgruntled player stuff, they'll never be a playoff team either after this. After this. The fallout is inevitable. I disagree. I think uh, if the Nets get rid of um, uh, Steve Nash, him and Kyrie are going to have legendary numbers this year. Uh, the Nets definitely is not going to get swept out the playoffs. We're going to go to the champ. We're going to win the championship this year, especially with the pieces we added. But I'm going to leave the final word to you, New York City OG. Uh, Nash oh, versus Durant, oh. who will go? Your choice, once again. I'm letting Durant go because he has proven to be a headache. The Nets bent over backwards again to get from the team that they wanted. They traded so many good players like Jared Allen. Spencer Dinwiddie, if you really think about all the trades that the Nets made to give Durant, the team that he wanted, remember DeAndre Jordan, a past his prime, Lob City dunker who had no real game? The Nets management only had themselves to blame for this fiasco. I say trade Durant and fire Nash. Clean slate the entire team and start from square one like they've been doing since Jason Kidd had left them when they lost back-to-back -back NBA Finals. The Brooklyn Nets, like when they were the New Jersey Nets, will never, ever be irrelevant in the NBA. Those are my facts. You heard New York City OG. I said keep Kevin Durant. You let us know down in the comments what you think. Who should go, Nash or Durant? Catch you guys later. Peace.